Hello everyone and welcome back to Brink of Speed. This video is all about the Corvette being the greatest American sports car ever. And I will tell you the reasons why. If you have not joined the Brink of Speed community, make sure and hit that subscribe button and the uh, little bell notification next to it so that you're notified when my new content comes out. But uh, let's get going. All right, everybody. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the reasons why I believe that this Corvette and any Corvette is the greatest American sports car ever made. So the first reason that I wanna give you is that pretty much the Corvette from the very beginning till now has always been an absolutely gorgeous looking car. Uh, I'm not an enormous fan of the C1. It's definitely a beautiful car, but it's not one of my favorites. And then also, I'm not a fan at all of the C3. There's going to be some people out there that obviously don't like to hear that, but uh, I've said that from the very beginning. I am not a C3 fan. I like the C2, C4, 5, 6, and 7. And uh, so that's number one. Number two, the four generations of Corvette that I've been uh, able to drive. I had the pleasure of driving a C4 back in the early 2000s. I had a buddy that had a 1984. And then. Uh, Obviously, my C5, Z06, my C6, Z06, and now the C7, uh, they have all been a wonderful experience. Man, my radar detector's loud. They've all been an absolute wonderful experience to drive uh, from the handling to the power to the sound. My, uh, my experience in the C4 was a little bit different because that car only had like 200, maybe 205, something like that horsepower. And uh, so it wasn't extremely powerful, but back then it still felt pretty good because that was like 2000 that I drove that car. Let's jump into reason number three. Chevy has done well with the engine power and sound on 90 plus percent of the Corvettes that they built. pretty underpowered so there were a few years there that the Corvette didn't have amazing power but it's always sounded amazing uh, that C4 that I drove sounded phenomenal my C5 C6 C7 they've all sounded great and on top of that uh, all the ones that I've owned have had great power and for the most part from the very uh, not from the very beginning because the first C1 was a V6 and very underpowered uh, but if you add up all of the powerful vets there will be more uh, vets with great power than not so they've all pretty much had great power and then great sound all right let's move on to number four and this coincides with number three Corvettes are by far the most powerful American-made sports car throughout the history. When you look back through the history of uh, Corvette, you will find that 99% of the time it is going to be the most powerful sports car out there. Uh, obviously back in the uh, 60s and 70s, Mopar had cars that were obviously uh, quite a bit more powerful, but as a rule, uh, especially since probably the 90s, the Corvette ha 
has been dominant and especially now it is dominant there are no American made sports cars that compete and by the way I don't actually include the Demon or the Hellcat in that category because those cars are more of a straight line type of car they're not built for road course racing really at all and a sports car in my opinion needs to be able to do everything and number five, this is one of my favorite things about Corvette. Chevy really sets the Corvette up so that a pretty average person can save some money and purchase either a used or like a base model Corvette and make it financially work. And you may say, well, no, I, I disagree with that. Well, let me explain myself. Uh, if you're making 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars a year, you're considered pretty much average. You're a middle class but average uh, Joe. If you don't really have a family, you're single, you love cars, you can definitely afford to go out and buy a base model Stingray or if you don't really want to have that kind of payment, you definitely can go out and pick up a, uh, you know, gently used, like I talked about in my last video, Corvette. And believe it or not, guys, <laughs> uh, all you have to do is go back to a C5 and you can pick up a base model C5 that has 350 horsepower which is still incredible performance for 10 to 12,000 bucks. I mean, if you get something with super low miles, you might be looking at about 15 to 16 thousand dollars, but that is pretty dirt cheap. So that's why I'm saying that pretty much an average Joe can go out and purchase a Corvette and have performance that blows away most of the competition out there on the road. Now let's move on to number six. These Corvettes are all built to not only be great daily drivers, but also can go out and compete very competitively on the drag strip or a road course. And this car needs no modifications to do that. To me, that is absolutely incredible that you can buy just a normal base model Corvette and it's going to perform on a drag strip and get very good times. It's going to perform on a road course and handle great. And you can daily drive that exact same car and feel comfortable doing so. In good weather, bad weather, it's kind of set up for it, and you don't have to spend a penny on it to, to do these things. So to me, that right there by itself is just absolutely incredible. Uh, there aren't too many other sports cars out there that you can buy that has the performance of this car, is as comfortable as this car, and daily drive it, drive it on the track, drag race it at the drag strip, all for a very reasonable price. It's just not, it's unheard of. So let's move on to my final and number seven reason why the Corvette is the greatest American sports car ever. The level of engineering and technology that are in these Corvettes today is mind blowing. From the traction control, stability control systems to the magnetic ride control system and let's not forget the PDR system and what it's capable of which is what you're seeing right now uh, you know the forward view camera this car truly is the greatest American sports car and now it can even be labeled as a supercar quite honestly I don't think there's ever going to be a day where Corvette does not rule over the sports cars in America, or I should say American-made sports cars.
this car is only getting better with time. And as you guys have seen in all of the C8 content out there, uh, GM is not playing around. They are building this new C8 to absolutely either destroy <laughs> uh, all supercars and sports cars out there or most of the supercars and sports cars out there. The, the base model alone is going to be something to be reckoned with. But wrapping this up, Again, I know there's going to be some people out there that completely disagree with what I say or partially disagree, but this is just my opinion, and I, I get super excited just thinking about it, that you can actually go to a Chevy dealership, or you can go to a used car dealership, or an individual, doesn't matter which one you go to, to buy one of these Corvettes. And you can pay them money to drive a car that really should probably not be legal to drive on the road. I mean, you can't use most of the power that these things produce. It just will get you in trouble or even worse, get you into an accident. And unless you have a lot of experience driving these high performance cars, you're just, it, it, I mean, it's just incredible that you can go out and buy a car that performs the way that this one does for the price that it costs you. So with all of that being said, I hope each and every one of you love this video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, if you have not joined the Brink of Speed community, make sure and smash that red subscribe button and the bell notification so that you're notified when my new content comes out. Other than that, guys, you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend, and I will see you out on the road.